Welcome to this video on the Web Data Grid, and I'd like to demonstrate for you a new feature found within our Excel exporting. Now, you'll notice I've got this check mark here at the top of the page, and I've got a Web Data Grid underneath. And what I'll be able to do is export the contents of the grid into an Excel format. What's nice, though, is that I have paging turned on, and I can cycle through each one of these pages. And I can choose whether or not I'd like to have only the viewable page exported to Excel, or rather if I'd like the data from the entire grid to be exported to Excel. So let's go to page 8 over here, and I'll click this checkbox to say just give me what's in the, the viewable page there. And it'll launch Excel for me, and you'll see that that data is just from Excel and only from the page. What's also nice is that it preserves the styling that's found within the grid. So that works really well, but what if we uncheck this checkbox? Now when I click the button, it uh, generates the Excel sheet for me, and when we open it up, you'll see that all of the data that is in the grid on any one of the pages is now available to me in the Excel sheet. It's just a few lines of code in order to make this happen, so we'll start off by taking a look at the markup. Now here's my page within Visual Studio 2010, and I've got a script manager here at the top of the page. I've got a checkbox server control that allows me to toggle whether or not I want the exporter to look at all the data within the grid or, or just the single pages worth of data. Here's my button that I'll, I'll use to initiate the export. And then I have this control here that you can get onto your page by dragging it from the toolbox or typing in the code directly, and that's the Web Excel Exporter Control. And with this exporter control, what I can do is I can specify a download name the defaults here are for data export mode, data in grid only, and then the export mode is download. You can also choose in browser or uh, custom implementation of your own. But for right now, I'm just leaving all the defaults. I'll assign a file name programmatically on the back end. And then here's the grid put on the page. The only th customization that's been done to the grid is I've enabled paging, and that's bound to my SQL data source. So let's take a look at the code, and we'll see how we're getting the information to the exporter and how the exporting is being done itself. So first off, I've created this, this private property, and I call it data export mode. And this just wraps the value that we're, we'll need for the data export mode enumeration found for the exporter. And so if the checkbox is checked, asking people if they want to download data only on the viewable page, if that's checked, then I'm sending back the value of data in grid only. Otherwise, we'll say that we want all the data in the data source. So this, this just isolates the calculation for that, and we don't have to put it down in our, our code below. So then we're taking a look at the exporter, and this exporter variable is in reference to our web Excel exporter. I gave it the idea of exporter, and this is uh, what powers the export happening behind the scenes against the grid. So the exporter export data mode is set to whatever's returned from this private property that we implemented up at the top. The download name, I've just called it data, gave it a little dash, and then taking the date time now to string and stripping out any of the spaces. And uh, that'll pretty much give me a unique name for just about uh, any type of download that will happen. The workbook format, you can choose how you'd like this. I set it up for Excel 2007 you have a number of different options available to you. Macro enable, macro template enabled, template, and then the 97 to 2003 types. And that will give you the, the file extension of XLS instead of the updated extension of XLSX. And then finally, once all that's set up, all you have to do is tell the exporter to export, and then you pass in the grid where you want to pull the data from, and everything else is handled for you. Infragistics on the web at infragistics.com.